This is a story about an incredible primate. Highly sociable, extremely affectionate, and very vocal. The golden snub-nosed monkey. It's home, China's remote mountain forests. China is a realm of diverse landscapes, full of rare and surprising creatures. For the first time, we'll uncover their remarkable, untold stories in the hidden kingdoms of China. A newborn golden snub-nosed monkey. She's just a few hours old and entirely dependent on her mother. In the year ahead, She'll be at her most vulnerable and will face many challenges. She'll need intelligence, strength, and most of all, her family's care and love. If she's to survive in China's mountain forest kingdom. The endangered golden snub-nosed monkey lives only in the high mountain forests of central China. Up to 13,000 feet above sea level. Our baby girl's troop lives in the world's largest high altitude forest where there are more tree species than in any other deciduous forest on Earth. It's spring, and the monkeys are in high spirits. The troop has five families, each with one male, several females, and their young. Males that aren't part of the family live in the troop's bachelor gang. They're a boisterous bunch. But right now, they're not the center of attention. That honor belongs to our baby girl. She's the first born this spring. And the females in the family will do anything to get a cuddle. This auntie is first in line. But not for long. With only one baby to go around, competition is fierce.
when it all gets a bit too much. It's mom to the rescue. The monkey's attention soon turns to their tummies. In spring, they spend a quarter of daylight hours eating fresh new leaves. Their favorite food and an important source of protein. As temperatures rise, Trees higher up the mountain spring to life. And the monkeys follow the feast. Crystal clear streams run through these high forest valleys. The surrounding trees filter the rain, and their shade keeps the water cool, helping to maintain healthy levels of dissolved oxygen. These pristine streams are a lifeline, and not just for the monkeys. One of China's strangest creatures lives here. The Chinese giant salamander has hardly changed since the Jurassic period over 170 million years ago. Growing up to six feet long, it's the largest amphibian in the world. This female has tiny eyes and poor vision, relying instead on smell, touch, and sensing vibrations to get around. She spends most of her life underwater, absorbing oxygen through her skin. Folds increase the surface area, maximizing the process. Although revered for centuries in China, illegal hunting and habitat destruction has left these creatures critically endangered in the wild. For the few who remain, remote forest streams like this are a vital refuge. Our baby girl is now three weeks old and exploring her forest home. She soon discovers that she shares it with other creatures. But it's the family's playful youngsters that really catch her eye. A year or two older than her, their lives seem like one endless play session. And she's eager to try out some of the skills they've mastered. 
Hanging from one arm is best tried close to the ground to begin with. Walking along a branch looks easy, but for our baby, it takes concentration, bravery, and brain power. She's figuring out how to turn around and get back to mom. A moment of comfort. Before the next adventure. Babies learn very quickly. And soon, she's climbing trees. By following her instincts and imitating others, she's grasping essential monkey skills. Spring is when all the new babies are born. It offers them the best chance of survival, as they'll have the warmer months to grow strong. But in this high mountain forest, nothing is guaranteed. Spring weather can change in an instant. A sudden drop in temperature threatens all the troops' babies. In China's high mountain forests, spring rain brings a sudden drop in temperature. Our baby girl doesn't yet have a full coat to protect her from the cold and wet. Alone in the treetops, she's vulnerable to hypothermia. Her mom and family step in to keep her warm and dry. But as the weather worsens, rain turns to snow. Disaster strikes the family. A mother cradles the lifeless body of her newborn baby. Her maternal instinct is so strong, she cares for her infant as though it's still alive. Family members try to comfort her. But she seeks solitude. These monkeys seem to understand death 
and this mother isn't ready to let go. The sunshine returns, and life flourishes once more in the mountain forests. In time, spring turns to summer. Trees are in full bloom, and food is plentiful. This area has more than 4,000 plant species, making these forests among the most biologically diverse on Earth. With food in such easy reach, there's plenty of time for other activities, such as grooming. An all-important part of monkey society. It keeps skin and fur clean, but more importantly, builds and cements relationships And it's just so relaxing. Nap time soon follows. Our baby girl doesn't doze for long. At three months old, with stronger muscles and hand-eye coordination, she's coming on leaps and bounds. and she's taking a big step in her social development. Playing with other babies. But at this age, she's soon distracted and wanders off exploring. As the adults doze in the afternoon sun, a cold-blooded killer is waking up. And our baby girl has caught his attention. A king rat snake is heading towards our baby girl. This constrictor eats any creature it can wrap itself around. The alarm is raised. <laughs> 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 
Many pairs of eyes help keep the monkeys safe. The troop moves on. In this complex society, these intelligent monkeys use many different vocalizations. As the families and bachelor gang travel together, contact calls keep them all in touch. Individuals have their own unique signature calls, particularly useful in dense vegetation when they can't see each other well. They have lots to talk about in their ever-changing world. And the seasons are turning once more. Fall is arriving, one of the most spectacular times of year. At six months old, our baby girl still depends on mom's milk. But she's also developing a taste for new things. She takes her first bites of solid food. Tries her hand at grooming. And she spends more time than ever playing. Ten times more than she did in summer. Playing is fun, but it's important too. It keeps the monkeys fit and strong, enhances their social skills and sharpens their brains. As long as they get the landing right. In Chinese folklore, monkeys represent rebellion and mischief. One group that lives up to that reputation is the troop's bachelor gang. These young males were evicted from their families before they turned three. They wrestle endlessly. Preparing for the day they'll fight to try to win their own family. One of the older bachelors has reached that point. Aged seven, the warts on his lips show that he's sexually mature. Apparently, these warts are attractive to females. He'll win the right to mate if he can take over a family. He's going to try to overthrow our baby girl's dad.
dad and his family are under threat. Males who take over have been known to kill babies so that they can sire their own offspring. Our baby girl could be in grave danger. A challenger is battling our baby girl's dad, hoping to take over his family. If he wins, he could kill her. Dad's an experienced fighter, but not as young and strong as he used to be. What he does have is the support of his females. Challenger is sent packing. Dad returns to our baby girl's mom for comfort. It's thanks to the females that he's kept his position in the family. Including his mating rights. Fall is the breeding season, and the female who lost her baby in spring is ready to mate again. To win the male's affections, she showers him with attention. Female golden snub-nosed monkeys use grooming as currency, hoping to exchange it for sex. And she seems to be finding all the right spots. They'll mate several times. But only time will tell if she'll give birth next spring. With fall progressing in China's forests, trees shed their leaves. A way to save energy during the cold months ahead. With less on offer, the monkeys eat bamboo leaves and pine needles. All the forest's creatures get ready for winter. This remote high altitude refuge is home to over 90 mammal species. But most are secretive and seldom seen. Yellow-throated martins search the forest floor for fallen fruit and seeds. The forest provides this vital food source, and the martins return the favor. Traveling far and wide, they spread seeds through their droppings. And 
and seeds disperse in more than one way. Some attach to the monkey's coats. In fall, the monkeys travel up to two miles each day, spreading the seeds as they go. The forest's plants and animals depend on one another for survival. Our baby girl is now nine months old. And with a thicker coat, she's ready for the harshest time of year. She seems fascinated by the first snows of winter. and explores her frosty world. What she doesn't yet know is that four months of snow lies ahead. To get through it, she'll need to master a new skill unique to these monkeys. As winter temperatures plummet, our baby girl seeks comfort and warmth with her mom. They can't escape the cold. In fact, these monkeys tolerate the coldest average temperatures of any non-human primate on the planet. Their dense golden coats thicken up in winter. Covering their hands and feet. And those strange snub noses are less exposed to frostbite. They also have another remarkable adaptation. They're the only monkeys in the world known to travel on two legs in snow. It keeps their hands off the cold ground. And helps them travel faster, reducing the time they spend in contact with the icy snow. baby girl reaches another milestone. As she gets the hang of this new skill. This unique behavior 
could be the source of an ancient Chinese legend. These forests are said to be home to wild men. Mysterious ape-like figures with red hair who walk upright through the trees. Sounds a lot like the golden snub-nosed monkey. Or maybe there really are unknown and mysterious wild men roaming these forests. To escape the freezing temperatures in China's forests, some creatures hibernate, and others migrate. For those who stick around, having a strategy is vital. This little guy is a sable. Rarely seen or filmed, he's a smaller cousin of the yellow-throated marten. Today, he's out hunting. Using his keen sense of smell and sharp hearing, to search for small prey. Large snowshoe-like feet help him travel lightly on top of the deep snow. Winter is the hardest time to find food but he's got that covered. When times were good, he stockpiled food underground. This survival strategy is a lifesaver. To generate enough body heat to stay alive, the monkeys now need more calories than at any other time of year. Carbohydrate-rich bark and lichens become their main source of food. Diverse gut organisms and a multi-chambered stomach help them digest this tough diet. As winter reaches its coldest point, the temperature plunges to minus four degrees Fahrenheit. The monkeys could freeze to death. They need another way to stay warm. In the depths of winter, our baby girl and family struggle in sub-zero temperatures. But luckily, they have another way to keep warm. Sharing body heat.
These affectionate monkeys huddle all year round, but they do it much more in winter. Their lives depend on being surrounded by family. Or fellow bachelors. Our baby girl hides out in the warmest spot. Until it's safe to venture out again. Winter's long silence is finally broken. It's a time of transformation and celebration. The monkeys have lost body weight, but their favorite food is growing again. Our baby girl is now a year old. As grown up as she's become, she still returns frequently to mom for milk and comfort. She won't be fully weaned for another year when her mom gives birth again. And even then, they'll likely stay close for a few more years. The cycle of life keeps turning, and the family continues to grow. The female that lost her baby last spring has a new arrival. Already two weeks old, he's healthy and strong. Our yearling girl is eager to introduce herself to her new little cousin. No longer the baby, she knows that in the future he'll be a playmate and someone she can help care for. One day, she'll likely become a mother herself and continue the long line of these extraordinary monkeys, living in China's hidden forest kingdom. <laughs>